thanks for being here today. I appreciate that you're taking this opportunity to learn something beautiful. And hopefully I'll help it uh, help you figure out why it makes sense to learn how to train a chicken. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm half an hour to read in this space. One of the reasons that we train chickens is because they are very, very fast. And they do things that our dogs don't. Uh, for instance, our chickens aren't as forgiving as a dog would be. So if we miss timing uh, or we deliver food inappropriately with the chicken, they absolutely take opportunity when it presents itself. So if you're not a big enough party and your rate of reinforcement isn't high enough, your chicken leaves. Whereas in my experience, your dog will sit there for a while waiting for you to figure out what you need to do. The chicken is just like, oh man, no, over there, they've got mealworms, and I'm leaving things. So, um, chickens help us learn how to shape. So who here is trained in animal? Who's, who's an animal trainer? Who's, uh, who's used a clicker before? Okay, awesome. Has anyone trained a chicken? No? Okay, well today you're gonna get the opportunity. Um, it's a short period of time, so what I'm going to do is talk to you a little bit while I'm showing you what it looks like, and then get a couple of volunteers to come up and try to train the chicken. Okay. So the chicken that we're going to be working with today is Topic. She is an Americana Bantam. Bantam just means that she's a miniature chicken. Uh, she's actually lavender in color, and we've been working with her since 2008. She's an unusual chicken in that she's very quick to catch on to things. She's the chicken that we use when we don't want to embarrass ourselves. She'll, uh, she'll learn pretty much anything that we're going to teach. <clears throat> I'm going to ask her to do some new things today. She's not been exposed to this particular bell before. Uh, so we're going to have her, we're going to see if I can get her to do that. Today I had her in my sunroom and I was like, I literally lost my touch because I haven't trained a chicken since July. So I put a little cat toy down and I'll ball with the bell in it. And she just went immediately towards it, and then she batted it around the entire floor, which is awesome. So, uh, the cool thing with training chickens is that you have to be faster than you think you need to be. So when when you think the chicken is going to hit that object, when you're looking, does everybody know what targeting is? This is when an animal uh, points its, its part of its body towards an object on purpose. In this case, we're going to have the chicken uh, peck this bell. You have to click right when you think it's going to happen. You can't wait until it's happened because the time it takes for here to go, oh, she hit the bell, to here, the chicken's already on and moving on to something else. So I'm just gonna stop talking and show you what it looks like.
starting to spike her beak a little bit with the cup. She's been doing it for so long. She did. So, <laughs> <what's the name? laughs> Lots of the new chickens just, you know, at first they look in the cup to see if they want anything that's in there. <laughs> but she's actually learned to kind of, you can see it when she, work with me here. Thank you. Welcome. Clean up your mess, will you? <laughs> So one of the reasons I like working with chickens is that they're never really boring and I don't have to wait very long to get some sort of approximation. And they're also pretty cool in that I can relax my criteria and then build it back up really quickly because they're moving so fast. So what I thought I'd do, are you done? <laughs> She's the perfect example of contra freeloading. She'd much rather work for that food than just get it for free on the mm -hmm. ground. Hi. So get your clickers ready. where you're watching right now. Are you watching my hand release or are you watching the table? Or maybe are you watching about an inch above the table? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Observation skills are huge. If you can't see the behavior happening, you can't mark it, you can't get it to happen again. Does that make sense? Let's try again. Nice. It's <laughs> beautiful. and helps you figure out what you're looking for. And you haven't even touched the animal, right? This is a time to practice those skills before the animal can be subject to your mistakes. Does that make sense? <laughs> so then the next thing you have to do in order to get the animal, so does everybody understand what a clicker is? It's called a marker or a bridging stimulus. And the reason that we use it is because we can't get the food fast enough does that make sense? And with some animals, they use a whistle for uh, marine mammals, not always uh, lights for animals that are deaf. So the clicker itself, and Karen probably will shoot me for this. Wait, is this going on the internet? Maybe. <laughs> We're editing it. <laughs> it's like, cut that part out. Because Karen Pryor thinks she has neuroscience uh, data that says the clicker is sort of magical. I don't think that it is. <laughs> I think that the only reason that it has strength is because it's been paired reliably with a primary reinforcer, which is usually food. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So this is something I toss out to all my classes. If you're going to click, you need to offer a treat. I don't care if it was a mistake that your thumb actually just twitched and it's some sort of early signs of Tourette's. Mm -hmm. Food. You click, back it up. Okay? Okay. So, skills. Who's got clicker cups? 
I'm so sorry. Will you stand up with me? Yes, all of you. You've got a clicker. So, you guys saw how I was giving the food to the chicken? You saw how the seed was coming out and I was blaming it on the chicken? <laughs> Some of it was the chicken. Most of it was me. So, one of the things that you need to be able to do, and we do this with our treat bags all the time with our dogs, right? What do we learn when we're first training? Don't leave your hand in the treat bag. That's all the animal will look at, right? So the chicken, whenever she didn't know what to do, she was coming at me, right, in the cup, because she knows this is where the food comes from. Long story short, this mechanical action is huge. If you can't do this correctly, then you're still not going to be able to reinforce the behavior you want, and that way, and then learning is not going to take place. That makes sense? So, since I've been teaching this since 2008, we've found four distinct ways that people like to hold their cups. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a front loader. Right, I got my blocking hand here, which isn't so good when I want to hold something in my hands and then the chicken, my rate of reinforcement has to be really high, otherwise they come right towards my cup. Uh, some people deliver from the side, right? I can't do that, I still see it everywhere. And my friend Lisa actually manages to do it from behind. And I can't quite figure out how she's mastered this, but somehow she clicks and then the food comes out and it stays in the cup when I do it. <laughs> And the chicken thinks, she's the best trainer ever! <laughs> so, uh, why don't you guys all try the front one first? This is, this is the joy of having a really good teacher. Click, then in your head I want you to say pause, and then deliver the food. Okay? Because otherwise what happens is we start chasing the chicken around on the table with the clicker cup. <laughs> right? But if the clicker is here and our cup is always resting wherever we want, behind our back, if you guys want to try behind the back or on the side, that's fine. I'll hold it against you. <laughs> Click, pause, treat. Click, pause, treat. Try again. So the 
that the chicken doesn't do it for you, right? Okay. So, uh, let's get some little bell. And I'm going to have you work on shaping the fake chicken, my hands, to tap the red part of the bell. distracting environment. Part of it is that there's just so much buzz, the animal doesn't know what to do first. Does that make sense? So your chicken is here, and then you present the ob object that you want them interested in. You get a freebie. The chicken always looks at, what is that new thing? Is it going to eat me, or is it food? Make sense? So that's the first approximation that you take. Did you have chicken before? No. Oh, this will be fun for you. So the goal of the game is you take the small steps to the final behavior. So when the chicken looks at the bell, he'll click for that. And then the chicken will look more at the bell with the way behavior works. It just is kind of on a continuum. Uh, when they look more at the bell, then you click for that. And before you know it, they're swiping at it, picking at it. Okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ready? There's a the bell, there's a the chicken. Yes! Very nice. Chicken is very happy. Are you sure you have a
learning chickens are easier. Sometimes chickens with a lot of learning have baggage. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like dogs have baggage, right? God, you stop. <laughs> um, there's cases, especially when I start to get more advanced learners, like Joyce, I have point if you do this, is if we're, we're doing color discrimination with a chicken, and we've got that chicken knowing that pink is the hot color, then we change it. So even though that animal knows how to learn, we've now changed the criteria, even though they've got this history under these conditions that pink is the hot color and all blue, what they do. How many mistakes do they make? And I will tell you that it always depends on how good the timing is for the trainer. I've had, um, and I should know, I apologize to him afterwards, but I had one coach who said, I can't get this chicken to target. There's something wrong with the chicken. Ah, like, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, it's not the chicken. And just so you know, I apologize. We're still friends. We still got lunch on the weekend. It's good. But uh, it wasn't the chicken, because when I went over there, I just, I, and I kind of could cheat, right, because I knew that the rate of reinforcement probably was what the problem was, probably wasn't high enough, probably asking for too big of a step instead of the little tiny steps. So, not the chicken. It's always us. And the cool part about chickens is that uh, they're very clear, very clear whether you're getting it right or not. They're either doing what you're asking them to do, or they're not. So you get what you like. So, do you want to try training a chicken? A real chicken. That real chicken, you know? Okay. So, do you want to try this? Sure. You know, she's already worked on it. That's a good thing. How many do you want to kick me in? Just a few more minutes or so. So, part of what you learn in my cooking chicken class is making sure that the environment is already set up. So, I want you to walk me through. What's it going to look like when that chicken targets to the bell? <laughs> what's it going to look like? Yeah, what's it look like? Well, its head is going to be pointed. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> if, you don't know what, if you don't know where you're going, you will end up somewhere else. That simple question, which is almost seems simple, and I hope it wasn't offensive. No, no, you got it. If you don't know what you're looking for, you're not going to be able to see it when it happens, and the chicken's not going to give you that second chance. So you kind of need to know. So your plan is? Put the chicken down. Yes. Once it's on there, I'm going to put the bell on there. Yes. And when it starts going toward the bell, I'm going to... You're sure you've never done this before? No. <laughs> no, I don't say that to everybody. <laughs> Hi, would you like to come out? It was a rhetorical question. <laughs> <laughs> Hi! Come on. Oh, there it goes. Oh, the carrier is much smaller. All right. Are you ready? Mm hmm. You care where she goes? Nope. Do you want to give a shot? 
Sure. Yes. Jill, if you'd like, I will give you a gift certificate to come to class free on May 4th. Oh, okay. $65 I'd love it. value. Oh, thank you. I said I'd make it worth your while. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. We're going to be having it at Synergy Behavior Solutions. Oh, I know where it is. I know where it is. Ready? What's your plan? starting a skateboarding behavior with her. I finally found a light, small skateboard. <laughs> but that scratch is... Very nice, you're like a ballerina. <laughs> okay, well, since 